Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Rob. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate six unknown reverbs. And uh, I don't know why or how I came up with this idea, but I did. So we're gonna just check them out. I put together this really quick beat here today and this is completely dry, so let's give it a listen. Okay, and the only thing that uh, any spatial thing going on here would be this track here, which is a diva pluck that has delay on it, on the plugin itself. But everything else is pretty much, pretty much dry, okay? And these reverbs are, I'm not really gonna open them all up right now. Let's go through them real quick. And the way I've got this set up is that I've got a kick, right? Then I've got a loop. I've got a clap. Got an off or open hat. I've got a pluck, that's the pluck. And then I've got a piano. Then, I, then I've got a pad. Now, as you can hear on that, that has a slight, that open hat has a slight bit of spatial information, as, as does the loop got a little bit of uh, room going on but it's going to have a lot more so what I'm going to do is just let these all play and I'm going to select all the tracks and I have them set up to where in logic if you have on your inserts here if you have the exact same plug-in they'll all turn on at the same time and I have on the loop the clap and the open hat I have kind of a plate and then I have kind of a hall reverb on the plucks and the piano then I have a kind of the big atmospheric reverb on the last channel, which is the pad. And then I even have one on the kick, which is just kind of like a small ambience. So I'm gonna start opening, activating these reverbs. And then I'll, once I do that, that I'll show you what all of them are. And they're definitely unknown. A lot of them you've probably never heard of. All right, here we go. Let's see what difference it makes when I activate the reverb on every channel at once, dry and then wet. Now number two, you can see what that one is. Now, knee over. Okay, so there we go. And now it's time to reveal what these are. Okay, the first one is Reverb Intensity, and it's from Arturia. This is from their effects package that, what is it, like nine effects that you'll actually use, I think is their little tagline. And so this one here, and I'm gonna open them all up here on the uh, pad, because that's the longest reverb setting. You can really hear how they ring out. Now I've got this on their Infinity setting, and I've got it turned up quite a bit and it's very heavily modulated. So here we go. Now this reverb doesn't have a lot in the way of presets. It's got some special effects type things going on here. It doesn't have a traditional set of presets. So you have to 
read the manual for sure on this one. All right, so let's go to Nimbus. Now this one's from Exponential Audio, an isotope company. And let's give this one a listen. Now this one's really quite subtle. It's got a lot of parameters that you can adjust. They also have another one, I forgot the name of it, I've never really used. I have all these plugins, which is the subject of another video, but I have a lot of plugins that I've never used. The next one in the chain here is NeoVerb. This is the one that has a reverb assistant. It also has a joystick you can move around. You have three different types of uh, spaces that you kind of can morph between, and that's what I did to kind of come up with a good sounding reverb here. So let's listen to this one. Oop, I had that one all the way wet. That's about six and a half seconds, roughly. Maybe one of these days when I have time, I will dig into that this reverb, okay? Let's go to the next one, which is Kilohart. This is a snap-in from their collection. What do they call that thing? Multipress? And this is one of the snap-ins. This is their reverb. Really simple kind of reverb. Okay. And then the next one is the LX480 from Relab. I don't know how many of you who have Facebook or whatever have seen the ads i think i got it for like 29 bucks or somewhere around there so let's give that a listen it's uh obviously a lexicon emulation that's what they call a huge haul but actually on this one here if you listen to the entire track Whoops. This one sounds pretty good. And I have some of the reverbs on these kind of exaggerated just so we could hear them, okay? Oh, and then I have a bass line. I forgot to tell you about completely dry. All right. And then the last one, Last but not least is a red verb. It's called Red Verb by Schultz Audio. And that's their large church setting. And they've got just a ton of presets. I've had this one. Now this one seems to do pretty good on I like the sound on drums on this thing. Although that one's probably too wet. So let's listen to all of these Real quick. And that's not a bad sounding reverb. Talk about an unknown reverb. Who ever heard of red verb? Well, anyways, that's what I have. I just wanted to kind of show you that real quick. And I'm probably going to buy yet another reverb by the end of the year. I'm, I like that black hole and it's on sale for 69 bucks, regular $200. Anyways, I've been buying a lot of stuff uh, like that thing you see behind me here. And uh, so I have a lot of uh, fodder for upcoming videos. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, and check some of these out. I mean, I like this uh, this one. This one's really good, and this one seems to have potential. You know, I, I mean, the other ones I'm going to have to dig in a little bit more, but these seem to be pretty good. But opinions vary, so you may have a different idea of to what sounds good. So have a good one. Thanks for watching.
Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs>